Hi guys, so today is just gonna be a short video. I'm going to be showing you how I take photos for my business page with my phone and my ring light. I basically make my photos look like stock photos and stock photos are photos like, you know, photos you can find on Google which you, what people put on their websites. So this is just gonna be a quick tutorial and I'm gonna show you how I edit everything and all of that good stuff, so just keep watching. I love taking my own photos for our business because it just gives your business and your website more realness. Customers actually see what you're really selling and it's not just some photo from Google. So they could see, yes, you have this product. And I just encourage everyone to just take your own photos. Don't take any photos from Google or your vendors. It just, it shows how much work you put into your business when you actually take the time out to create your own photos for your customers. You could see I'm placing the product in all different angles, different directions. I'm holding my phone in different angles because I take a lot of photos so I could pick and choose from each one when it comes to editing and I will be showing you that. So my whole purpose was really to take photos of our new product, but I just decided to do some other photos. As you can see, I'm just using a big paper. This paper just came from a scrapbook, you know, like them art pads. I just took one of those out. I usually use a sheet, but I really didn't want to mess with all of that. But I'm just, you know, adjusting my light, holding the light in my hand, and just taking different angles of the items. Now to editing. So this is all the photos that I took. Now I'm just basically going to go through disrespectful. <laughs> I'm just basically going to go through all of these photos and I'm just hearting them so they could be in my favorites and I could easily find them. And you know, I just go in through review. So we're just gonna go through all of the photos <laughs> that I took and just see which ones I like. So I had to bring the screen recording out a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So right now I'm just in my favorites at all the photos that I favorited. I'm just gonna click auto. I'm gonna edit and then click auto. It just, auto just does whatever it needs to do for me. So it just brightens up the picture and I don't have to go through all the contrast and exposure. It just, it knows what to do. So that's what I'm just doing with most of the photos. You can see this photo doesn't really need any editing or anything. That was just perfect lighting. But that's just what I do before I get into the real editing. Now let's get into Facetune to edit. So I use Facetune 2. And what I do is just go into my favorites. And I start with the first photo. So what I do is I click the bottom. I didn't see what it was, <laughs> but I clicked whitening. So I just, you just see me whitening the background, just all of that white, just whitening it up. Um, I did edit the video, the pictures here on the video, but I still had to go back and edit it all over again because it kind of messed up. 
but I will show you the end results at the end of this video. Okay, now we're going to the bottom and I'm just gonna scroll to backdrop and I'm gonna click apply and I'm just going to be applying, just applying it and then I'm gonna change the color of the background. The backdrop is a premium feature of Facetune, but all I do is just screenshot the photo when I'm done and then crop it and they never know. Facetune, please don't ban me from your, from your app. <laughs> but that's all I really do. So you see me just, you know, trying to get in the background. Um, I did not use this feature for my photos, but I do not for today's photos, but I usually do use it for all of my photos. I usually do all of this with the background, but for these photos, I just really just whiten it up because I was trying to get the real effect of the logo on the tweezer. It's very hard to explain on a video that I'm voiceovering on, but you get the gist of it. For the scissors, I'm just gonna speed up this video. I basically did the same thing with the whitening tool. I just did it two times. Um, yeah, I just had to put my phone on being disturbed. <laughs> but I just did it twice, just to just get that effect. And that's all I really do. So all I did was use the whitening feature again and then it's really easy when it's on a white background to just whiten it up So I just go along with it and just do that and then I go back in with the whole backdrop feature And you'll see all of that Now, why whiten before I use the backdrop if I am using the backdrop is because look how smoothly 
the colors just go straight into the product it just attaches to that white and it just makes it easy and you can see i'm dragging my finger along it and it's not going over the product itself it's just attracted to that white background and it just makes my job way easier Now, like I was saying earlier, all I did was screenshot that and crop that, and I have my photo. Ta da! <laughs> Be sure to check out our website at shopeyelashlab.com to get all the best strip eyelashes from Dramatic to Natural. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I'm not